Hello, present here. Today's topic is on electro and flow capacitors. The topic which we are going to talk about is the mechanism, mechanism of electrons and displacement, types of montages, waveforms of EEG, three reverses and what are for EEG, sleep under the EEG, abnormal EEG, psychiatric drugs causing the EEG changes, and psychiatric disorders causing EEG changes. So, history. The localization of sensory function with monkeys and uh, rabbit was made by Richard Kaplan. The first day of human EEG was recorded by a German psychiatrist, that is Hans Berger. The alpha wave was also been discovered by him in the he is the first human uh, first person to discover the human EEG. That is alpha wave, was, there are four waves actually seen in human common ways which are seen in uh, EEG, that is alpha, beta, delta and uh, theta. Among the delta and theta was being given by William Craig Walter. So what is EEG and mechanism of EEG? The EEG is a non-invasive study about the cognitive process and physiology of brain this called is the and which is being EEG. So what is the mechanism of EEG? Normally the neuron which is being there which will produce an electrical activity when it is excited, that is a epileptic form is being when it is excited, we transport the protein from protein from pyrotes into the extracellular fluid, which will generate the action potential, uh, which will be left to the electromagnetic forces, we push on the other ions into the charge and that will uh, that must be recorded in the EEG papers. That is how the mechanism of EEG. So what are the electrodes are being there? You case of EEG, it is a metal cup, non-reactive metal, this is called cup applied metal uh, cup, that is how the shape of the EEG electrodes would be, the image which shows the cup of, that is how the cup of the electrodes, the electrodes of the EEG will be like a cup, and what is the metal which is being used, there are two metals which are being used, one is silver silver chloride, gold tin platinum, but both in our EEG, only silver silver chloride is being used, which is a non-invasive EEG, silver silver chloride is used, Whereas for gold tin platinum or being used when we, when we are using a non-invasive EEG, like in case of any surgical procedure or any intensive therapy, if we want to monitor one patient's brain activity, then in those cases the electrodes which we are using will be gold platinum or uh, So how many electrodes are being there in EEG? There are more than there are like 21 electrodes are being there in the And then what are the other types of electrodes as we know that in case of any surgical procedures or any intensive therapy? In those cases, sphenoidal, nasoperitial, subunal, and foramen ovate electrodes will be used. So, uh, we can place, there are, though there are 21 electrodes will be there in our electrical EEG. We can place it anywhere, but the university follows some system to keep the electrodes in there so that the can take the EEG. So, that is where the two systems were being classified one is the statement system, and an earlier question is the entire system was how we use this statement system of electrodes in our system to be used. How it is being classified based on the three case. One is sagittal plane, one is coronal plane, another one is horizontal plane. So what is this based on this? The statement is system is being how the electrodes are going to place based on this case. So one is sagittal plane. As we see in the diagram, it shows some nasion to inion. That is from our tip of the from our uh, so starting till the inion, that is our sagittal plane, the uh, statement system is being classified. From the on till the uh, frontal polar, which is being implemented, and till from uh, uh, neon till occipital, 10 systems implemented, then the rest of the parts, that is frontal, parietal, and central, are being equally divided in 20, 20, 20. That is what called as 10, 20 system. It is for sagittal plane. Then we are coming for coronal plane. Coronal plane has been taken from tragus to tragus, this from this tragus to this tragus. So this is also being divided in the same way as for 10, 20 system. So from travels till our till our plane, the same, it was also being central based on the season, like how we are being in sagittal, uh, will be classified based on F T1, XZ, CZ, and TZ. That is nothing but the frontal, central, and parietal, sagittal, and so because of sagittal, we are using the red symbol central because of that symbol. Based on that CZ as a center, the coronal plane has been actually been classified, I mean, uh, has been divided into 10 20 system, and same like the horizontal, it is also being based on 10 20 system. So in this diagram, if you see the, uh, if you see that all the even numbers like 3, 5, 7, all will be posted in our left hand side, whereas all the even numbers like 2, everything will be posted, will be in the right hand side. Even if you grow closer, you have to remember all the small numbers like 3, uh, if you see all 3 and 1 will be towards our mid like whereas 5, 7, uh, 3 and um, 5, 7 and 1 will be above, uh, away from the mid line. 
same like the for the right hand side even number all the small numbers like 2 4 everything will be towards the midline whereas something like 8 and 6 will be away from the midline this is just to remember this is how the higher 10 20 system has been so there are 21 electrons which will be placed over the scalp uh, with the help of conducting phase with that scalp uh, we will be recording our image this is 10 20 system so there are uh, two montages have been available uh, like used in EEG. One is bipolar montage, another one is average reference montage. What is this bipolar montage and average reference montages? There are bipolar montage in here as the name indicates. There are two pole, the electrical activity is going to get from two electrodes which are placed in the cell. Here, if we take an example, here this is where the electrical activity is being generated. As per bipolar, we are going to take two electrodes or in between uh, electrical activity is getting from going to take it from two electrodes. That is F8 and P8. In this F8 is L1 and P8 is L2. And before going to this, all in EEG, negative, if the value comes in negative, the wave should be in an upper position. As we, by end in upper form, the same like negative will be coming in the upper part and positive will be in the lower part. So if we completely calculate this L1, this will be for L2, we came the value was 100 micro volt is needed. But as for rest of the values, minus 20 micro volt is needed. If we keep E1 as minus 20 and E2 as minus 100, if we calculate it, value will be coming in. Minus 20 minus minus 100 will come in plus 80 will be volt. Will be there. So plus 80 means the rate should be in the uh, down form. Okay. Then if we calculate this part, uh, second part, this is uh, T8 is going to be a E1 and T8 is going to be a E2. So T8 my value should be minus 100 millivolt. And for P8, it should be minus 20. So minus 100 minus minus 20 will be 2, minus 80 will come. So minus, if it is negative uh, value, the wave should be in a upper form. So it will be coming in the upper form. And this is how we will find that electrical epileptic form activity is being there. And this is called as phase reversal. This is what they will be calling as phase reversal. If it is seen, then the way, uh, uh, epileptic form is that is present. This is bipolar motif. So why there is a need for average reference motif? We know there is electrical activity there is present in P8 and even in the uh, adjacent area also electrical activity is being generated. We are getting phase reversal. But if you want to know which point it is being directly where it is being uh, it is being uh, originated, that epileptic form is originated, then we will be going for an average reference voltage. The main difference is here the uh, lead to all the leads. Only one, uh, from only one electrode, the electrical activity will be recorded. From the rest of them, the ground value should be kept as a constant. Like uh, electrons will be present all over the brain, but the uh, electrical which is present over the ear, where we can't able to get our electrical activity. From those, they will be taking us V2. So all the so here if we see FP2, uh, uh, there are uh, three electrons. To find from where the point is being generated, we will be using the average reference motive. So if we take the uh, FP2, where the value is minus 50 and the reference voltage, that is lead to we, we don't have a, here we need to from the, from our electrical activity. From here the lead to all will be in a ground. So which is nothing but minus 20. So minus 50 minus minus 20 is nothing but minus 30. So the wave should be in a upper part, that is it should be. Like it will be like this. So minus 100 minus again same minus 20. It is going to be also minus 80. The value should be in a upper form. And same here also minus 80 minus minus 20. It is obviously going to be minus 60. So all are giving to be in a higher form. But here in average reference, we are going to mainly based upon the amplitude. So how much amplitude it is more. So here if we see in this diagram, the amplitude will be in a higher position comparative to those two things. So that's why uh, the electrical activity will be presented from P8. Here we found that it can be F8, T8 or P8. But here from this average reference model, we can surely tell that it is big from the in uh, EEG, uh, uh, in EEG machine, we can change the model in our system itself like by other uh, average voltages. We can easily recall. That is what two reference voltages are there. One is uh, bipolar voltage, and then have, uh, average reference voltage. Based on the affect reversal, uh, we will be finding that there is a regular form activity in case of bipolar voltages. So, how to identify the voltage in the EEG paper? So, uh, so if we see the uh, diagram, uh, the, uh, the box which is marked in the red color, which should be as we told, bipolar voltages, the uh, electric activity from two electrodes, that is, uh, 
uh, it will be going in the same order like right? polar frontal to frontal frontal to central central to temporal uh, frontal to central central to parietal parietal to temporal so the electrical activity is taken from two electrodes so the in eg paper we can see that uh, p1 to f3 uh, p2 uh, f3 to c3 c3 to p3 so there are two electrical activities are mentioned so it is called as bipolar mode feature and then even if you can see uh, all the first in the uh, in the uh, EEG paper all the left hand side that is odd numbers as we don't know all odd numbers will be in the left hand side and all the even numbers will be in the right hand side same like this first in left hand side will be come first all the left hand values like all odd numbers will come first then all the even numbers then odd numbers even numbers and lastly will be coming over Z values that is nothing but XZ, PZ, ZZ, we don't know that all the Z values will be coming in the end. And lastly, if we are giving any uh, photic stimulation or any hyperventilation, that will be coming in the last end of the paper. That is how the uh, EEG paper is being uh, So we have identified based on this, it is a bipolar montage. Then how the unipolar montage will be seen. So unipolar montage, as we told, the electrons will be pay taken from the uh, at least another from a single point only. So if you see that uh, EG paper, all FP2, uh, FP1, FP2, only one frontal or only one leads will be there, but the rest of the key things are kept as an average, that is ground will be kept. So based on this one, you will find whether it is a bipolar montage paper or a monopolar, I mean average reference montage paper. So preparation for EG. EEG technologists first measure the patient's data. Uh, once the patient's head is mentioned, they will be marked with the help of prayer, they will be deep marking, which also which we can be raised later. So then, next to technology, and uh, next to once the uh, prayer markings are being kept, then the electrode should be placed over the uh, prayer markings, which will be with the help of conducting paste. And important thing, if there is so much oil or anything, that conducting paste will not stick, so the auto scrub of that will be using as the uh, uh, abrasive cream, but here steadily over the cotton will scrub up all the oil from the air, and then we will use the conducting paste.
which will be seen in the posterior abdominal symphysis which is nothing but over the occipital region and parietal region those areas you can see the alpha waves in the EEG as well as it should be seen once when the eyes are closed it will not be seen when the patient eyes are open where they will be seen otherwise when eyes are closed alone EEG is open alpha wave can be seen uh, alpha waves are seen so what is next is beta beta hertz is 14 to 30 hertz so uh, if 14 to 30 hertz but this will be seen only when there is an opening of eyes when the patient is updated from the attention set then beta waves of seen the uh, most common area as of alpha wave we told that it will be seen in occipital and parietal region whereas here it will be seen in frontal and temporal region in EEG paper and in theta it is 4 to 8 hertz and uh, it is seen in the same frontal central region it can be seen in the normal all our normal stages of sleep we can see all our theta and delta waves in which state we see and delta last is the hertz is 0.5 to 3.5 hertz which will be seen over same over the frontal posterior region in which we can see so it is affecting the sleep what's wrong with it so here in this diagram same it is representing electrodes are placed uh, when the Eyes are closed, alpha wave that is 8 to 30 hertz of alpha wave is seen. When eyes are open, the waves have actually disappeared. And when the waves have been updated and the eyes are closed, then again the wave has been appeared. And this is what uh, that alpha wave this is of is. So in this EEG paper, you can see that in the uh, like as we told wave, we can see the alpha wave, it can be seen over our posterior dominant, that is occipital and uh, parietal region you can see. So if you see all our occipital and temporal lobes, there will be an alpha wave. As you know, there will be a 8 to 13 hertz. So how to calculate the 8 to 13 hertz is like uh, from one line to each, uh, from one line to next line, that is what calculated for one second. So uh, uh, each, there will be either in the whole EEG paper, it was divided into many boxes, no? That each boxes will be calculated for one second. If we calculate how many waves are there, then it will come as 8 to 13 hertz. If it is coming 8 to 13, then it will be an alpha wave and it should be calculated based on the um, I will be seen only when the eyes are closed over the posterior region. This is alpha wave. And now you will see the same thing. Uh, if you see, uh, same in the occipital regions, every occipital, both in right and left. And if you see, all the alpha waves are seen. If you calculate, there will be 8 to 13 hertz will be seen in each spectator. That is how that is also an alpha wave. So now you can see. Uh, uh, what is this wave is, uh, uh, if you see that if you calculate all the waves in a minute, one second they will be coming 8 to 30 in alpha, but when the eyes are open, you will be seeing a wave or theta wave, where the frequency will be 30 into 30, which will be very difficult to count, but beta waves will be seen in case of, uh, beta waves when the eyes are open, when the patient is away, you can see mainly in the frontal and central, frontal region, you can see the beta waves. So this is the image representing the beta waves. If you see when the eyes are open, again the alpha waves started coming. So this is the way uh, when the eyes are closed, again the alpha waves started coming. And this is the beta waves which is representing when eyes are open. This is the way, uh, as we told, uh, the alpha wave will be only seen only in the uh, posterior region, like uh, occipital and temporal region. But if you see in this diagram, the same alpha wave, like one second, there will be 8 to 13 hertz, but same alpha wave is present, but it is seen over the area of frontal region. So why it is, if it is seen over the frontal region, then the patient can be in an alpha coma, where the patient, even, uh, uh, even for any stimulus or anything, they are not open the eye, they will be keep on closing the eye, so it can be seen over any area of the uh, uh, region so it is uh, this is alpha wave alpha coma uh, so stages of sleep EEG in sleep there are uh, as we, there are two stages of sleep NREM sleep and REM sleep NREM sleep is again divided into three stages stage 1, 2 and 3 and REM sleep uh, uh, the stage NREM 1 sleep as we know in all awakened patients two waves will be seen either alpha wave or beta wave when the patient is drowsy alpha wave when the patient is awake beta wave can be seen so in all our sleep waves, when the patient is going for sleep, either uh, theta wave or delta wave is going to be seen. So when the patient is in a stage 1 of NRM, the delta, theta waves are seen, which is nothing but 4 to 7 hertz of uh, theta waves, uh, if you count 4 to 7 hertz, theta waves are seen. Then NREM stage 2, where the two important things are present, one is sleep spindle and K complex. What is K? Uh, sleep spindle uh, sleep is nothing but body spikes, it will be there, whereas K complex is nothing but High amplitude, negative sharp wave followed by a positive wave. If you see the right you will see in the also a negative wave will be followed by a positive wave with a high amplitude which is called as K-complex which will be seen in the NREM stage 2. 
And in case of NREM stage sleep, as the patient goes, uh, you know, goes into deep part of sleep, a theta wave, a slow wave of uh, starts coming. And finally, uh, that is nothing but the NREM stage sleep, the patient will be having a delta wave, which is nothing but the frequency will be only from 0.5 to 3 words per day will be sleep, that is delta wave. Sleep. And lastly, is nothing but when sleep start with appearance will be seen. So there are two stages of sleep, uh, two stages, each one divided into one. So identify this uh, EEG is nothing but if you see there is the uh, negative wave that is a wave which has been upward and then it is followed by a positive wave and it is uh, it is having a high amplitude also. So it is going to be a K complex. So uh, which stage of sleep it is going to be NREM stage 2 where you will be seeing the uh, K complex, K complex level. So a negative wave followed by a positive wave with high amplitude is called as K complex. This is NREM stage 2. So what is this? Uh, I did the stage of sleep. If you see, if you calculate the seconds, like uh, from one second to other second, only two waves are seen, or less than two waves will be seen, or sometimes three waves. So it is going to be in a delta wave. So uh, as delta frequency is 0.5 to 3 only, so the patient is going into a deeper part. So the patient can be in stage three of NREM sleep. So abnormal EEG. Uh, Epileptic, uh, epileptic form discharges uh, is seen in obvious seizures left eye epilepsy. Focal slowing. If they issue the EEG paper, if there is only focal slowing of epileptic, uh, if you see then epileptic discharges over the focal seizures can be seen or any localized apparent animal dysfunction. Like in case of hematoma or anything, there will be localized infection. So in those areas, uh, focal slowing can be seen. Triphasic wave, which is nothing but which can be seen in toxic metabolic encephalopathy, mainly hepatic encephalopathy, the triphasic wave can be seen. And diffuse slowing of background rhythm, full background is being diffused, most commonly seen in age abnormality, present in patients with diffused encephalopathy. Focal slowing alone will be seen in parent dimension. If it is diffuse, then it is diffuse encephalopathy will be seen. That is what uh, EEG and medical disorders and EEG findings. Uh, if you see, uh, seizures can be in case of many types of seizures such as GPCS, focal, absent seizures, many seizures. If it is generalized, focal, spike wave, anything is seen, all the EEG findings can be seen in case of, in case of seizures. If it is structural slowing, uh, structural lesion, focal slowing of that area. If there is a structure uh, in that area is alone affected, that slowing will be seen in that focal area alone. Closed end injury, for focal slowing, that focal delta wave can also be seen. In case of infectious disorder, uh, diffuse uh, slowing will be seen. As per the already discussed in metabolic and endocrine disorders, uh, triphasic waves will be seen. So, if you identify this EEG, uh, there is a there will be no waves actually will be seen. There is a diffuse slowing of all over the EEG, and even there is a noxious stimulus was being given, painful stimulus was being given. Even for the noxious stimulus, the patient didn't respond. There is a slow slowing of waves will be seen. Which will be as we told, it is seen in diffuse encephalopathies or some uh, in, uh, encephalopathies. This a diffuse slowing will be seen. So, EEG epileptic form is there. There are uh, two names for the one is snake, another one is shark. Uh, the shark waves. What is spike wave? What is shark waves? Spike waves are shorter in duration with a uh, peak duration of 20 to 70 milliseconds will be seen. Whereas sharks are more than uh, which is will be in a normal duration. Uh, that is spike and it lasts for 70 to 200 milliseconds, then it is called the sharp wave. In epilepsy, both spike and sharp waves can be seen, that is how we will be differentiating. So, uh, there are many things, but uh, in epilepsy, uh, slow, uh, spike and slow wave pattern, that is if you see in this third diagram, uh, the spike, there will be a spike and then there will be a slow wave and in the, within the seconds, there will be at least 3 hertz of, uh, uh, 3 hertz of waves, that is, Slow and spike, a spike and slow wave is present. Then it is typical of it is it will be mostly seen in absent seizures. If it is uh, usually we do three hertz slow and spike wave, it is called as absent seizures. If it is uh, like two to four, if it is not like three hertz level, uh, if it is not three hertz, three or two to four hertz also, then it is atypical uh, absent seizures can also be seen in those cases. So next to last one is the poly spike phase where there will be multiple spikes are being present. In those cases, it is seen mainly in GTCS, generalized tonic chronic convulsions can be seen, or in Lennox gas syndrome also, all this epilepsy, uh, this polyspine states can be uh, seen in EEG. Uh, so, if we see this EEG, uh, 
there will be an uh, if, uh, there is a spike over seen over in you know, all the occipital region and if you see this reference mountains there is a phase reversal itself is being seen that is an inverted wave and then an upward wave is seen so that you can locate there is a uh, position over the occipital region since it's present on both the regions it can be taken as uh, uh, occipital lobe uh, focal epilepsy so this is the uh, so this is the eeg where you can see a normal form is uh, a normal waves are been there but in between there is a uh, spike and uh, sharp waves are present in all the leads of the uh, eeg which is not uh, which is uh, which can be seen in generalized tonic tonic conversion same here uh, in this eeg the aroma which represents the phase reversal is actually again seen but it is seen only in the Uh, temporal region that is in the focal area alone it is being seen so uh, the stage reversal is seen so it can be a temporal lobe epilepsy so last one is um, same uh, slow uh, there is a spike wave and again a slow wave within a second there are three hertz are being seen it is going to be an absolute seizure so in the uh, uh, the drugs which are going to be uh, which is causing eeg changes uh, in the uh, drugs which are using so uh, As a mnemonic, if you see, alpha decrease, uh, like uh, each wave will be causing me, each drug will be causing each each uh, changes in each form, each wave forms. So if we take a beta, increase beta activity, increase beta changes. As we told, the beta phase frequency is 13 to 13 to 13 plus. If we take increase beta activities of seen in the drugs which we are using are benzodiazepines, barbiturates. B B so benzodiazepines and barbiturates will cause an increase beta activity. So alpha activity is increased. As we told, alpha activity will be seen only when the eyes are closed with the words of 8 to 13 hertz. So the drugs which are causing all our students like cocaine, marijuana, nicotine are all causing alpha increase. Whereas decrease in alpha is caused by two drugs which is alcohol and opiates will cause a decrease in alpha phase. So uh, yeah, uh, electroencephalography calculation associated with each psychiatric disorder. Uh, first is panic disorder. A paroxysmal EEG changes consistent with partial seizure activity during attack can be seen. And over slowly will be seen in case of 20% or 25% of panic attack. Catatonia usually the EEG will be normal, but for all the organic in normal cases of catatonia EEG will be there. Next is in case of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Higher prevalence of EEG upon melody present. Uh, which is nothing but spike wave discharge. The patient will be in uh, uh, hyperactivity. Spike wave activities can be wave uh, uh, discharges are seen. In case of antisocial personality, uh, uh, it has been noted that there is an incidence of EEG abnormality is there. And borderline personality, positive spikes are seen in 25% of cases. In chronic alcoholism as well as in alcohol withdrawal. In case of chronic alcohol, slowing will be there. Whereas in case of alcohol withdrawal, it will be in a condition of delirium, where if you see the, uh, if you take the patient, mostly it will be in normal, but in sometimes the EEG abnormality can be seen. Uh, dementia, fairly normal in advanced dementia, may be helpful in differentiating pseudo dementia from dementia. So take home messages. The classification system which we are using is uh, currently the equity system. Electrodes. So many uh, electrodes are being made of gold, tin, platinum, silver, silver chloride. But in the uh, in the you know non-invasive EEG, silver, silver chloride uh, electrodes are being used. Number of electrodes which are used is 21 electrodes. Uh, if you see a three hertz slow wave, a slow or spike and slow wave, three hertz within a second, then it is nothing but an absence seizure. But they will increase beta activity as it will be the increase beta benzodiazepines and barbiturates. Increased alpha activities. We saw marijuana, cocaine, nicotine, everything will cause increased alpha activity. Increased alpha activities seen in two drugs as opioids and alcohol. Uh, if you take the wave of alpha wave, you should be the five only when the eyes are closed. Then uh, beta wave can be seen when the eyes are. So this is comprehensive textbook of psychiatry and Roman's EEG primary book.